What's up, guys? This is the Rainforman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Gran Colombia. And in this episode, we are attacking the Spanish capital at Madrid. And this could be quite important because it gives us a border with Austria, and we may see lots of armies driving towards us. Um, but before we worry about the future, let's deal with the present and attack the city. So it's a pretty bog standing garrison. The Spanish have moved most of, well, I think it's about two of their armies have gone west towards Lisbon. And as a result, they have actually left their capital undefended and it is their last territory um, owned by the Spanish in the Americas. So what we will see is uh, with the collapse of Madrid, all of Spain will be eliminated from our campaign once and for all and replaced with the true Catholic Empire. First, let's get going. Ah, oh, cloudy mist. So they have mortars. But we're not going to worry about it. Let's just select a bunch of my infantry, form a line, blow some holes in the breaches and formulate our attack plan as things develop. So you men focus up here. Howitzers. Quick climb the mortars because we're in, they are in a position where we can actually potentially kill them all. We can get, you know, double whammies here. We're able to affect... Yeah, the area effect means we'll actually get both units. We are under fire from their mortars though. Our foot artillery will deal with the breach well enough. And as soon as we breach the wall... There we go. Once the mortars are wiped out, that will be a lot of our problems dealt with. Doing a lot of damage to the enemy defences. And they'll start to uh, march down to defend the breach, which is what we want. go retarget we've, we've annihilated one unit of mortars so let's so I've got my foot artillery they should be engaging here excellent So we're not going to be able to trap any enemy units. What I want to do, if I can knock out this mortar unit, and we are going to get a lot of secondary effects. But the objective was, if we could knock out the knock out their mortars, we can advance up to the walls in relative safety. And then use these units to advance and secure one flank. I put my Cazador or my regulars up on the gatehouse in the centre. They won't get stuck because we'll have our own grappling hooks. But I mean in theory, I should do this. Put that ground short, because... <laughs> look at all that. I would like one unit to try keep attacking the enemy mortar battery, or the mortar, the mortar singular that might fire at us. Otherwise, they can attack this block of units right here. Well, they might not even shoot, actually. Yeah, I think they might be done. We're going to make our second breach. We're going to start... 
Look what we can do, actually. Typically, once we start to scale the walls, that's when the enemy gets incredibly upset and decides to charge out against us. So if we just cut, keep quick climbing the breaches, I mean, we've got a bunch of kills on the wall collapse this time. There we go, you men. Scale the walls, you men. Cover the gate. I don't think I'm going to be able to safely get there, but I'd like my Kazdor up here to fire into the centre. So I think I might be better off trying to bring them over here. There we go, like this. We're going to start scaling the walls, and they're going to get really angry and push out to stop us. Climb the wall. Climb the, your grappling hooks. Don't try and run in through the gate. That's that, that way's that's madness. Here comes the 25th regiment of foot. They're going to sally and try and interfere with our plans. Here comes more infantry. Our, our howitzers have just fired. Are you lucky you got a you got a just got a glimpse of it. Engage the provincial militia. They're starting their fire by a rank grills. Let's engage them specifically with our howitzers. These men are going to take some time to secure the walls. Get up there. Actually, one of you may run further along to secure the gate. Although the gate is ours. The militia fall. They're outside the wall, so they, they do do they do lose a lot of their um, morale bonuses for defending the city. <laughs> so many dead by quick climb. No, Casador or guerrillas don't try and defend the town. Trying to stop us. What <laughs> glitched through? Focus on the other breach with our quick line. The rest of our army push in through this breach. Human position like so. Gagarin is inside. Okay, right, actually, you guys have to hold. Send one unit in. Try and make the breach. Quicklime has nuked away in for us. Send one unit in to try and attack, clear the way in. Actually, you guys can. No, no, you guys keep attacking, keep fighting. You guys get over here. They shouldn't be able to get out, although they are actually managing to get out.
charge in through the gate. My quick line how it's aiming over here. There you go. Irregulars fire at will, although they are going to be attacked by enemy troops trying to get in. You men engage the 25th. Line infantry guards try to run through. Marines get in here. Howitzers cease fire. Unfortunate, really. Those gorillas are probably going to die. Unless the defenders break. I'm going to try to get the infantry guards in here. No, they're going to shuffle towards the sit towards the the um, the building. I want them to run straight in. Seventy-two and one hundred and two gorillas cease firing because they're right now doing more damage to my men here. Some marines in here. You, these marines attack here. There you go. Now my line infantry guards are in. Now they're in trouble. Let's see if we can run some units past these militia. Kill that last guy. Well, there's two of them there still. They're still fighting. The officer's been killed. Oh, no, he's not. He's back up. He killed their general. It's this last guy on the guns. Although I think he has to be executed. Oh, no. The city, the, he's broken. There we go. Excellent. The defenders are fleeing. The city is taken. Victory belongs to Colombia. Excellent. We took a bit more of a beating than I would have liked, but that's okay. So. Bye-bye, Spain. Spain is gone. We now have a front line with Austria. Oops. Keep preparing. Replenish the army. We've got a lot of cash, which is very good. So they've got a university down here in Granada. And they've usually yeah, got one at Salamanca. So destroy both of those. That'll help a lot. Get this militia over to Porto. So here in Lisbon, let's take two infantry units plus a fusilier unit out of the Lisbon garrison and place them with the cavalry we withdrew earlier. So this force replenish and march up towards the frontier. These troops can form the core of a brand new army. It's going to be recruited to the south. Then let's disperse some of these militia units to all of the various ports. It's another na army or another navy that can be used, that can be committed towards the engagement against the Austrians. Sí, and you're in. Adelante. So you eventually want Bilbao to be... Actually, to be honest, you probably don't need that many more steam dried up. Or, you know, um, military build, military ports, because you've got a couple. Probably afford to knock that one down. Uh, let's upgrade the roads in Spain as well. Okay, so you're ready to be deployed. I can't upgrade you to a church school, which is annoying. 
Let's upgrade the military buildings in Copenhagen. Everyone's reinforcing, and that's good. Uh, use this navy to auto resolve against this rush port. This navy, we lost a bunch of ships, but that's okay. With these fourth rate fleets, I don't really want full stacks of fourth rate fleets. I want smaller ones like this, specifically to jump on um, smaller fleets, smaller enemy fleets. But yeah, now we have a border with. Austria, we may start to see lots of troops just force marching their way into Spain. So I want... I need to reinforce this area quite rapidly. Sebastian Monino. Excellent. Let's get some marines. That's the last of them. Get a garrison guard unit. Get a Western European mercenary unit. Get some... In Actually, we don't need... Some in okay, after this, it'll all be cavalry that we'll be recruiting. Okay, you need to march up to help get ready to repel. Well, keep squeezing towards Tunis and Tripoli to knock out Britain. We've got 8,000. A lot of... Little garrison ships here. Okay, you guys, let's go knock out the fifth rate. Again, we're going to fight it just to get rid of it. We've got plenty of ports that are guarded by militia, so we don't need to worry too much about um, spaces to repair. Again, we're only doing this just to minimise our losses. Probably not going to bring it into our fleet. Because we're mostly concerned about growing our first, second and third rate fleets. Not so much the... Not so much our uh, smaller fleets. These are quite easy to build up quite quickly. We'll deal with them. So we have... Oh, we have complete dominance over the Austrians in the North Sea, the Atlantic, and the Baltic. Now we need to get that over the... in the Mediterranean. Always a sucker for chain shot, just to see if we can get any cheeky mass destruction. Actually, no, better make it broad. Better make it a broadside of round shot because of the angle. Reload. For round shot. Get some shots in against our fourth rate. Just to slow them down. A couple of good hits on the main mast, but not enough. Three hits. Can you start firing round shot? You try and knock him out as well. Foremost. 
Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, she won't go anywhere. Yep, yeah, the objective here was to just take out, just destroy that ship. Prevent it from doing any raiding. We didn't want it. You push up and raid Marseille. So this light galley can go up to Garrison Mallorca. Okay, lots of our fleet are moving up. Then let's raid Nice again, just to do a bit more damage. Yeah, we are, we are at war with Venice, and I think Naples might be a... Yeah, we're hostile towards Naples there. Protectorate of Venice, we're already at war with Venice, so I think we might declare on Naples and push up, push up the Italian mainland. A couple of lighter fleets. They don't have any military shipbuilding production, so they are going to be limited but to only manufacturing fork rates. Their only ability to build heavier ships is here in Antwerp. Well, and in Brest, but we've got these areas locked down. Okay, so over in the Americas, at some point we need to go... We need to attack Mexico. But we are still waiting on some recruitment. Okay, you are... Okay, they're 100% Catholic, 100% Catholic. I mean, these are all going to be 100% Catholic. So I might get this agent to run up to Boston... Start recruiting more another army to invade India or to support the invasion of India. And then we can send, we can bring over a priest and start converting these areas with priests immediately. Other than that, you're not recruiting because I've spent all the money. This heavy fleet just keeps just keeps this area locked down. And we don't need another naval hospital. Let's deploy a light galley into there. Excellent. Okay. So you're being destroyed. Salamanca's being destroyed. Granada's being destroyed. We don't need any more than Three universities were tearing through technology as it is. Cool. Okay. Could probably... I don't necessarily need a seminary in Madrid, but I'm going to keep it anyway just for the religious happiness. Okay, everything seems okay. So great the Grand... In Copenhagen, let's build the Grand Opera House because why not? we got loads of money. If we can knock out Mexico, that will be the end of... We will have total control over the Americas. They're not going to offer to trade anything. Yeah, Britain's going to do some raiding, and that is A-OK -okay with me. Austria's going to raid the Russians, that's fine. Ooh, Na <laughs> rebel, rebels from Naples. I mean, if we can, when I've got my front line built, uh, fil front line built up in Spain, I would like to um, push up into Paris and then start sparring with the uh, with the Austrians. Well, I want to try and get that second front built in Italy. As it stands, well, I, I mean, I, I'd like to see if it was if it would be possible to try and wage economic war against Austria. I don't think it's really possible. I think the enemy, well, I think their economy is now too strong for naval blockades alone to really stop them. Yeah, 
Here, raids in the farmland. That's okay. And I want to build a garrison up in Copenhagen so I can move this army out and do some stuff. We research top gallants, so we're now going for, for preserved foods. Yeah, you uh... Okay, let's try build I'll build chuck school there. Yeah, you're gonna push. Let's put a coaching in. Can't build dragoons either, so that's a bit of a kick in the knackers. Okay, so. In Tangia, let's get a couple of industrial buildings. Let's upgrade these buildings near Spain. Okay, you push up. Got a craft workshop, upgrade this industry. And I don't need a happiness building, but I'm going to get a coaching in to try get a rake. Okay, militia isn't really needed then. Let's get rid of them. You can recruit militia quite quickly. Fleet arrived. Excellent. So you were to take take position of the this battle fleet, you need to come back to the Americas, you guard the trade post. St. John's, Knights of St. John, Norway, okay. Yeah, more trade fleets being built. Works on striking the Black Hills, but that's been dealt with. Okay, industry, upgrade the peasant farms, upgrade, well, actually I suppose this agent down here, you may have to divert via Yankton, workers riot in England, but they've chilled out now. Okay, let's get a coaching in, just to Make them settle down a little bit more. It's heavy first rate is going to be our flagship. Put them to sea. Let's recruit six ships. That may or may not be enough. We can wait and find out. Yeah, workers were on strike in Spain, but they've now figured out that things aren't so bad. Okay, let's hold the bridge. Excellent. Upgrade the mines in Spain. You're continuing your recruitment. You need some cavalry. So let's get a unit of Hussars and a unit of Yossier. Okay, then we've got a global trading company that can be built. So you're our, our bunch of raiders. You're another heavy fleet that's being built. Let's keep just keep raiding. Three, one, two. Go to fourth rate. Okay, a lot of spending. A whole lot of spending. Yeah, reinforcements are on the way up. I mean, when Mexico declares on this, it'll take us a few turns to get down to their capital, and then we'll have to firefight whatever's left. But that's, I suppose that's part of the reason why I guess I want another army here, just to kind of. Well, firefight. Like I said, you're getting a full fleet built around you. Okay, let's hit end turn. Mm. 
Reinforcements are on route. Excellent, excellent, excellent. But yeah, right now we're just building a lot of strength. Where are you going? You're gonna raid? You are gonna raid. How cute. <laughs> oh, you want peace, do you, Charlotte? No chance. Yeah. Oh, they are st yeah, they're still building ships from somewhere. I should go raid them. More rebels versus establishment fighting. Ooh. Okay, right. Blas Inez. It's just auto resolve just to try to do damage. They didn't go after the spot, though. We can dispatch reinforcements. We can dispatch a new a new trade fleet to take that spot. And then bring our fleet to bear against the Marathas. Teach them what it means to stand against us. But again, it's part of the problem. We've not, um, we've not got the strength to clear them out. Although, we, well, we kind of do, actually. I could send a fleet to clear out... Um, Sri Lanka. Ag Mamelukes. Rats. Okay, can I move you out now? With minus three, it's still that's within re rebellion territory. Rook death. Ag. A couple of galleons they got from us, I suspect. Okay, let's carry on with the construction first. Pretty sure in terms of industry, lots of America's actually pretty good. Let's just run a check. Make sure none have slipped the net. does look like we've got all of the... Oh, no, apart from you. Oh, yeah, you've still got Britain scampering around up north. Okay, you're quite good where you are. I may dispatch you to go deal with that Maratha fleet. If we need to move this army, we've, we've got capacity. Okay. Everything's been built. Keep the port upgrades going. Okay, so in Europe, yeah, let's make sure that we're keeping that blockaded because that's their other ability, that's their other location they can build ships. Let's send one of these sloops along to Memo to keep that blocked. Minus six. They really don't like us. So, get some Dragoons, and then back them up with some more Mercenaries. Okay. All this stuff looks pretty good. Reinforcing of... Re re uh, rebuilding or building of this army is looking pretty good. Britain have got that naval hospital. We need to bring them to book. Although they've got a pretty poor army at the moment. Let's engage Anaba. Let's see if who they bring in as a reinforcement. They don't bring anyone in as a reinforcement. 
We were going to fight it to try and minimise our casualties. Because then we have a, uh, a number of British troops to our east. Yes, let's see if we can... Well, we need to maintain the pressure and we need to keep advancing our aims wherever possible. So right now, I think we're potentially a bit um, aimless in that we're spending a lot of money building a lot of things, but we're not necessarily advancing any strategic goals. That's where offensive, again, offensive action against the British in the in North Africa is quite a strategic objective for us. Something like this. Grenadiers on the right. Ultimately, I'm not going to need almost all of these units. Charging us. All the artillery is engaged. fifth light horse and the second light horse have had enough and they've just gone mad drunk with glory the fifth light horse might have better luck no This is this is gonna be very unfair. Push the cavalry forward. Okay, no, that's about. I, I was gonna be very mean and just effectively don't advance except with um, just my cavalry. Lots of friendly fire there because my howitzers are way too close. Put artillery engage the 31st regiment that are dug in behind cover. advance the infantry towards the enemy in the back same with the cavalry howitzers bombard the night although they're in a really good position to withstand my musket fire there they go Yeah, the only reason I really pushed it was because I didn't want to. The only reason I fought this one, I want to fight this one manually, is to not uh, lose loads of men. Okay, what it looks like. Effectively, these guys. It's just those guys on the general left. Let's run my regular cavalry up. Yeah, they know they're under attack. Hello. Light Infantry, Royal Cairo Infantry Guards. There you go, they've abandoned their position. They want to advance and make a fight of it. Run my general into the ninth light foot. What would be typical here is my general dying. Okay, let's just stop my artillery from shooting. Yep, yeah, there they go. Come on, kill the mercenaries. Kill the mercenaries, you'll rear charge into the Cairo, raw Cairo with the guards. The 
can charge into the rear here. Probably die. My general will probably die. It's interesting how they can say they're confident. It's because their general's nearby, I suppose. Holding. There we go. Now their morale should go off the edge of a cliff. Okay, light cavalry charge the general. My general face down their infantry. Wavering. Come on, jump on him. Kill the general. There we go. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. Because I suspect if we fought that manually, we would not have taken seven. If we auto resolved it, we would not have taken 78 losses. Okay, so we've taken the port. Let's push up. Oh, I can't push up a ship to protect it. There's a rule, maybe. Six, three. Bring it in the way. Okay, this fleet. Go get Roderick Oates. There we go. Sail you around to engage or to, a, or go, to a raid Safaki. There we go. And then Sert. No military production or income for you, Britain. You should be bankrupt. You're war weary. You're not bankrupt yet. Although Tune is is upset. We build the farm. Let's upgrade the port in a Naba. Okay, so strategic objectives. You're still building your strength. You are building your strength to bring war to the Austrians in the Med. You're building up your army. Push up against the front line here. It's very tempting to try and grab Königsberg. Because we could grab it. So how, what's Hanover's diplomacy like? Protector of Venice, so very much ripe for the taking. I mean, can we, I mean, Paris is is exposed. Paris is 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 vulnerable. So I could run. So if you're being being uh, bold, you take this army, run it in, take Paris. But right now, I want to take a bit more of a a measured stance and say, you know what? We're going to slowly, we're going to push up the front line, blockade, cut off the Italians, because really, I want to invade Italy more so than storming straight in. This is part of the challenge. That you could just romp in and take Venice and Paris and blow a huge hole in their line, but as it is kind of want to you know slowly strangle them including by taking Naples I suppose how I'm going to do that is by building another army here out of Morocco it's so on a combination of native troops plus colonial line Heavy horse howitzers are super. Then let's get some elite infantry of some description. Get two garrison guard units. Good. Because then you'll build up your strength. You take Tunis. One army push on Tri Tripoli. The other army land in Naples. That'll be fun. Fleet destroyed, yeah, we've dealt with you. Although, the next step is to take Jerome Cotton, a 
and attack this Maratha fleet. The swines. Bring them to book for what they've done. Destroy the fleet. Once we take out the fleet near Sri Lanka, I want to build lots and lots and lots of smaller fleets and just keep raiding their ports. Ideally, I want to build enough naval strength I can just cut the Marathas um, off from the rest of the world. Okay, right. Heavy, heavy, heavy. First, first. First. Second, second, second. Second. Go. There we go. Because they got a couple of big ships, but nothing serious. First rate ship of the line, the third rate, and then a lot of smaller ships, including some of our captured galleons. However, their galleons, those galleons are going to be scuttled. Although, actually, no. I might take this entire fleet as a prize. Send it back to the Americas to be rebuilt into something new. And then we will send them back out to conquer the world. So here comes fourth rate, Savitri. That might be one of, might be one of ours, actually, with a name like that. was she looks like she may have been captured without a fight but she's going to eat the first broadside from a heavy first trade ship of the line next broadside will be chain shot yeah we're going to really be able to set up our line quite nicely here Some of the light ships trying to redeploy. Okay, our guns are reloading. The victory, you're going to lose some masts, my friend. Slow down a bit. fire chain okay, let's just focus on this poor little little fellow and then we'll immediately effectively screw up lots of my other fleet operations so you're going to now start firing round shots shot. Pummel them. Drop anchor. Drop anchor. Excellent. You're wavering. You got too keen. Okay, everyone fire round shot and let's get ready to see. Let's see where their fleet goes. I mean, it looks like it's going to go aim for more of the middle of our formation. But just let them let them push forward. We're not going to go crazy and start redeploying our ships yet. Especially some of these ships coming in are actually... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're going to be running a bit of a gauntlet to get to us. This will do. You push it towards the middle. Get a bit of manual control. 
Everybody hold. Pitre is routing. Let's try to get a little bit closer. Oh, you're sinking. Surrendered on fire. Thinking. Beautiful. Here comes Ranjit. Ranjit got some shots away. You realise you're in a bit of a bit of a bit of a dodgy position right now. Let's try and knock some of the stuffing out of this guy's jumper. These ships. Yeah, okay, you ships sail on. Complete. Create more of a coherent line. These ships push up to engage Andaman. Try and sail across there like so. There you go. These ships that are sailing forward, you need to start firing chain because it's it's a really easy way to, to get some of these smaller ships to route. Man's actually in good strength. There you go. The head of their, or their new formation, fleet formation, is heading right towards us. Yeah, that bomb catches. Surrendering, routing, will soon surrender. shot, pummel the bomb, catch a bit. Balshiel has lost a mast. Surrendered. Can you hold where you are? The second rate just to hold still. You guys might try to cut around behind their formation. Try to play a round shot just to get some shots into this first rate. Got any sails? Main mast, excellent. Okay, you want to blast chain shot into the first rate masts? First rate's lost the mizzen. And the man looks pretty oh, routing on fire. She's back in the action temporarily. <laughs> uh, 
you've lost all of your sails. Play around shot just to slam shots into a hull. Andaman's routing on fire. Knock him out. Surrendered. Excellent. So you ships. I tailored around the uh, flank. Keep pivoting. These smaller ships don't stand a chance. Beric, you're just going to keep pumping broadsides into Vidjut. Killed the enemy admiral. I think he was on vigilant. Just fire a broadside because you've got. You may as well. Excellent. So surrendered. Routing. Let her round shot into our shield. Ruby's coming in. Trying to hit that fourth rate, he's concerned for his well being. Some of her sails away. These ships just need a an absolute hammering. Still wavering. Human loading and firing. <laughs> the bowsprit is shot away. Are we trying to ball this? The rest of the fleet is surrendered. Only this ship that withstands us. Routing. Surrendered. Decisive victory, damn right. That's the balance of power in the South Atlantic is in our hands. And we're going to bring them all into the fleet. You men recover to the Americas. We're going to go back and protect our two trade fleets. Okay, we don't yet. We don't have another um, full strength fleet in the area. We have a trade fleet. Oh, yes, we do. Excellent. Okay, trade ships ahoy. Okay. So this sloop, I mean, we've got all of Austria's ports blockaded. You guys are kind of holding, I suppose. Well, you could probably do with being in the med rather than the Atlantic. Excellent. Okay. I mean, you're, well, yeah, you're keeping their fleets blocked up in the Adriatic. 
So yeah, it's, it's, it's a strategic priority right now to take Tunis, consolidate Tunis, land in Naples, start to open up another front. Start moving this army to the north because reinforced uh, recruited units are going will go catch up with them. Okay. So down here in Ashdeer, full, full fleet being recruited. That's all my artillery that's being built. Fleets are being built. Yep. Infantry recruited. Although, to be fair, I think you want to get outside the city to get access to just a couple of native units. Actually, not even a couple of native units, just the one native unit, actually. The point where actually you just stay in. It's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a boring army, but it's going to be an army that's going to have a lot of firepower, I suppose. Yeah. Jerome Cotton, good news. Yes, he's a very good admiral. He's only 23. Okay, you can't get out yet. Well, I mean, you can. Actually, well, I'm saying you can't get out. You can. Just exempt them from tax. Think on Morocco is exempt from tax. Yeah, they'll come round. Okay, right, fifty-one thousand, and then here at Oran. Start building another slab sided killer fleet. I, I'm, just, I'm just really curious to see what the uh, how the um, Spanish, how the uh, Austrians react. So let's recruit a, a separate block of infantry. Then we'll recruit a general and start building up yet another army out of Spain. Reinforcements are taking a long time to reach Texas, but that's fine. We're not in a rush. They're probably going to get onto a ship if I had to guess. Either way, the road to Tunis is, is open. Mm. They're attempting to try cover all their bases. The, the Napoli rebels have gone. Okay, right. The Orthodox ministers are pulling back to mainland Russia yeah I'm not necessarily looking to invade um, India but I want to send so many fleets over there that we just we cut them off they have no access to global trade 112,000 great okay you guys pull out Okay, let's go for. You're going to be a really good army as far as artillery is concerned. Let's get a grenadier guard, fusilier, garrison guard. Plus two units of guerrillas. Fleet arrives. Excellent. Let's get you back home for repairs. You're back here for repairs. You are ready to come over here for repairs and then combination combining into some trade fleets. Split these four rates up. Give them some admirals. 
Listos para la acción. Then recruit. ¿A dónde, Some capitán? ships. Doesn't really matter what kind. And if it's not a um a battle fleet, that's fine as far as I'm concerned. Okay, Caracas. Gunnery school. Okay, just keep upgrading all of our buildings. Can you afford to leave? Minus 14, not for a while. Okay. Keep everything upgrading, upgrade the roads. Coaching has been built, so maybe we can. Yeah, we can tax you now. That's excellent. Upgrade the farms. Manchester should be a bit more chilled out now. Bilbao and Cadiz are going to get upgraded. Same with cobbled roads. Keep upgrading my orca. I mean. So look, I want to keep you keep you south, just to cover any armies that are going to try and march against us. I mean, I mean, if they've not, if they're not going to stop us, then this is what we're going to do. Oh no, sorry, they are they have kind of stopped us. Land them off the coast and start fighting. We've landed with Mr. Serrano, a uh, absolute legend of our empire's history. So those are that is six units, seven, eight. Okay, you're one short, so a full stack. When in doubt, just get an infantry unit. Let's try find a let's get an expat infantry unit. There we go. So then you're going to be at full strength. At the English Channel, sí, another br sí, another batch señor. of heavy ships. Awesome, fifty-two thousand. March on Tunis. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time as we march on the current capital of the British Empire and their second-to-last city. Cheers, everyone.